Oi friends, today we're back in Blender and we're gonna make some pickups. A couple people suggested that we add pickups, so I'll add a medkit to heal you and a like an ammo pickup to top off your ammo. As always, you wanna get the character scale. I'll just delete the camera and the light move this up and S shift Z to scale it down. This is roughly the size of our character. I'll go for our med kit first. I'll add a cube and we want to get the size of this correctly so something like this maybe. Let me just move it up so it's flat and then just scale it down in object mode something like this. And I want to scale it on shift Z like this and maybe on X like this so you have a box. I'll bevel out the edges so it looks nicer so I go into edge select mode select these control B and do something like this and then I'll add a loop cut and move it a bit up like that you can disable proportional editing or snapping sorry and then what you can do is again control B like this to get that E to extrude, S, Shift, Z to do something like that. So it looks like a box. Maybe Shift, Z more. I also wanted to have some kind of a handle here. And you can model it from this, but I'll just add another cube into this. Scale it down, G and Y here. Scale it more and place it around there. Scale it even more. Move it out a bit. I'll press S and X like this. And then I'll add two loop cuts, S and X, like that. Go into face select mode. And I want to select these inside faces. So that one and that one. And then I can e to, press E to extrude and do something like that. So you can kind of, you know, pick it up, handle thing. Now we just have to color it and add that uh, little cross sign so it kind of looks like a med kit. In order to do that, I'll add two loop cuts. And you can see we're having trouble but I'll just add two loop cuts on this side and two loop cuts on this side and then I'll have to connect them. So I'll go into vertex select mode, select this vertex and this vertex, press J and do the same thing for the other ones. And now I can select them like this with Alt, S, X and pull it in. So now we have one part of our cross and we'll have to repeat the steps for the other one like that. And then just J to merge these and then S and Y to do something like this. And we'll also need like a cutoff for the cross because we don't want it to be that big. And you can just add uh, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And then you can, again, just J to merge them like that. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. So four loop cuts like that, J to uh, create new faces and then this one will scale on the x-axis so it looks more normal and now we have this cross area right here that we can use as you know a medkit sign to color it I'll be using the color palette so I'll just give it a new material in shading give it a texture just like that and we'll open up our base palette And we'll need to add some new colors to that. So in texture paint tab, I want a white color, which we already have, and uh, we need a red color for the actual box. Now I'll add two red colors. So we'll have one red color like that. Oh, my bad. You have to set the fall off to constant right here. So we'll have one there. That's not red enough. I don't like that red. We'll have one like that maybe. And then we'll have a darker one just to do some highlights just like that and make sure you save your texture after making any changes under UV editing uh, I'll select the whole box press U smart UV project and add a small island margin like that press A to select everything S to scale it down and I'll place it here now if you go into material preview you can see we have a red box I'll color the handle differently and I'll just move it to this dark gray part and I'll select the cross 
and make sure you select these two arrows so whatever you select in the scene here will be selected in the um, UV editing window. So I'll just select the cross and I'll move it to white with G just like that. And I'll also select this part right here, this part right here by Alt Shift clicking and I'll move it to the darker part. So it looks like that. What you can do uh, as well is in edit mode you can select with Alt these edges right here and then press Control B again so you have something like that. I think that looks nice and I'll just color those uh, as well into the darker color, color just like that. And now we have a med kit. Next I want to create some bullets and I decided I'm gonna have only one uh, bullet pickup Maybe someone wants, like, you know, pick up for shotgun ammo and then a pistol ammo and so on, but I'll just have one. It's, uh, I think, easier for beginners. So I'll just add another cube in edit mode, or sorry, not edit mode, but I'll enable snapping, and then in edit mode, uh, I'll move it to the top, press S to scale, just like that. And we want this to be quite a lot smaller. Well, not that much smaller. We can go for about the size of the med kit. And then I want to create three different bullets. We're going to have a slug, like a shotgun ammo. We're going to have a small 9mm ammo. And we're going to have, you know, the larger caliber. So I'll just scale this one on Shift-Z, just like that. And then I'll add two loop cuts, like that. So they cross in the middle. I'll select these outside edges. Press S, Shift-Z to get a nice cylinder, just like that. And then what I can do is select these top edges, G and Z to move it down, but you have to disable snapping. I'll extrude S Shift Z to create a small edge right there and then extrude again and press S to scale it down. And then I'll add three loop cuts, select the middle one, enable uh, proportional editing, select connected only and press S shift Z and then use your mouse wheel to kind of uh, make this look a bit nicer so it's kind of rounded like that and now we have a bullet I want to create the larger one so in edit mode I'll shift D and right click then enable uh, snapping and just move it to the side like this in uh, orthographic view and I want to make this part larger, so I'll go ahead and actually I'll take these three edges, I'll press uh, X and then dissolve edges just so we have that one so we can easily make it larger. And then I'll pull this up like that. And then again, add three loop cuts, select the middle one, enable uh, proportional editing, disable snapping, and then do the same thing like that. Now I have a second bullet and I want to create this slug thing. So again, I'll select this one with L while hovering over it. Shift D, enable snapping, G and X to move it to the side, just like that. And we'll delete the whole upper thing now. So just select everything here. You can use C or Alt click or B to box select. X, delete the faces, select these inside, press F. And now I'll extrude once, just like that. I'll add a loop cut here. I'll select these newly created faces. E, S, Shift, Z. Make sure you disable proportional editing and snapping. I'll do that. And then here I want to add some kind of a, you know, dent. So Control B on this one. Extrude, S, Shift, Z, like that. And now we have a slug as well. So we have all three types of ammo, which I think they're big enough. And I just want to place them in a cool pattern. So I'll enable snapping L here and I'll go into top view with seven. So one will go here, one will go here and the slug will go here. So now whenever, you know, you'll see, you'll see this and you'll pick it up and you'll get ammo. Of course, we have to color these as well. Uh, so I'll add them, give them the same material and we'll add some new colors. We want a, a very bright yellowish color, something like that. 
and we'll want a darker one. Something like that. And we'll need, we have already the red part for the slugs, so that's good. And now in UV editing, I'll select everything, U, Smart UV Project, Island Margin on 0 0.010, and Unwrap. I'll scale everything and put everything inside the brighter yellow one. Then uh, I'll, in face select mode, I'll select these uh, top faces of the bullets, like that, for these two, and I'll move them to the darker part, so it looks like that. And for the slug, I'll select uh, everything under here, so those faces and the bottom ones, so the cylinder faces, and I'll move them to the red part, like that. And now we have some ammo and I'll call it ammo. Of course I want to export these into Unity uh, so the way you do that select them Rx-90 Control A scale rotation and location Rx-90 and now you can export them so ammo file export FPX. I'll create a new folder for pickups and call this one ammo. Selected objects mesh FPX unit scale and we'll do the same thing for the medkit med kit like that nice next time we'll be implementing these into unity so we can actually pick them up and that's going to be easy and fun i think that's it for today okay now bye bye